Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. Today is Wednesday, and the date is 24th of March 2021. We are going to learn about technology, and as we learned that, who make technology for us, Ya Abdul Ila? Miss, Miss, we need the book. Please, Abdul Ila. Miss Abdul Ila. Who make technology for us, Ya Abdul Ila? Uh, the scientist. Okay, very good. But what? Which scientist? The one that study math and science. What do we call him? Okay. It's an engineer. Engineer. Excellent, Ya Abdul Ilah. So, engineers, they study math and science and follow the design process to make technology for us. Today, let's go to, through this link, uh, this uh, slide. And Khalid, I heard you, my love. Yes, we need the book, but please do not talk until the teacher allow you, okay? You need to raise your hand and then the teacher will allow you then you can ask her whatever you want. Okay, Khalid? Thank you. Have you ever seen a movie in which the story takes place in the future? You may have seen robots doing many of the same things the actors do, such as repair a spacecraft. These robots are technology. In the movie, the robots were designed to solve problems. Movie robots often perform jobs that are dangerous like fighting a fire or scouting out new territory. Today, robots aren't just characters in movies. Robots are real-world technologies that do many things, from building cars to performing surgeries, even to playing with people and animals. Click the highlighted spots of this robot pet dog to discover a little more. When done, click the next arrow to learn more about engineers and the design process. So, as we learned before, guys, that robots, who made them engineers, they followed the design process to make robots. Why robots are important? What can they do? They can do such dangerous things people cannot do. If you want to find out about fire, would you go yourself or you would rather to send a robot to do that? What do you think, Ya Amir? Which one is easier? What is if there is a fire and you need to know about it, would you go on yourself or you would rather to send a robot? The robot. Of course. So making robots are very important. Also, robots can make cars, can make buildings. They can make anything. If we in, uh, uh, improve robots and make them. Okay, let's learn more about. You may have a stuffed animal or a pet animal. This is a robot dog. It's not a living animal. It's an example of technology. This robot dog can move, bark, and wag its tail like a real dog. But it won't mind if you don't take it for a walk. So a robot can look like the real one, but it will never feel the same way because a real dog would need a, a walk every while, but a robot dog will not need that, my boys. Engineers use many technologies to make a toy robot, special materials that are lightweight but durable. Engineers use computers to make the robot dog's legs, head, and tail move, making the robot appealingly lifelike. And like a real dog, this robot dog is ready to be your friend. So engineers worked really hard to make these robots. They used computer science, not only the design process, just to make these robots. It's really important to uh, follow the steps of the design process to make it as real as much as you can. 
This robot dog is an especially fun toy, but it is more than just a toy. When engineers work on problems like how to build a robot dog, they learn information about how to design and make other kinds of robots too. Engineers learn from their successes and failures. This helps them to build better robots. Better robot technology leads to improved robots for making cars and performing surgeries, and even better robot dogs. In the future, what do you think robot dogs will be able to do? So, what do you think? What do you think? Robots' future and the future. What are they going to do? Please, everyone, open your camera. Please, I need to see you, boys. Come on, come on. Everyone, open your camera. I need to see you. Please, everyone, thank you, Abdurrahman, Talal, and Amir. Where are the rest? Yes, yeah, Abdul Aziz, well done. Thank you, Ismail. Okay, now raise your hand and tell me what do you think robot in the future can do? Later, on the future, what can they do? What they will be able to do? Surgeries, what else? Hmm, what do you think? Try, raise your hand and tell me. Hi, Abdul Aziz, what do you think robots can do in the future? Can um, do fire. You mean help with the fire to turn off the fire. Yes. Well done. Okay. Work with firefighters or work in dangerous oh. or severe jobs. Yes, yeah, Abdazi. And walk. Nice. Okay. What else, guys? What else? In the future, robots, what they are maybe maybe able to do. Do you think of a robot pilot can uh, take us with an airplane without human inside? Maybe a, a robot can fly? Do you think it's easy? Yes, yes, May. What? Can robots in the future fly an airplane? Do you think it's possible? No. Why not? Engineers can do that by improving the robots that we have already now. You don't know, someday, maybe, maybe, they can be able to fly an airplane or ride a car or maybe cook food. What else do you think? Think about anything. Yes, yeah, Khaled. They Open your camera, ya Khaled. Miss, uh, like now, the cars is uh, the people doing uh, to it to fly. Yes, yes, exactly. Maybe they can make cars that can fly with robots. Thank you. Thank you, ya Khaled. Now let's continue. Welcome to the lesson, What is Technology? In this lesson, you'll learn how technology meets needs and solves problems. You'll also find out about ways technology affects your everyday life. The vocabulary words for this lesson are technology and environment. Click each word to find out more about it. So the most two things are very, very, very important about technology, that they meet your need and they solve problems. So what is the most two important thing about technology, Atalal? They meet your needs and they solve what? They solve what? Technology. They can meet your need and they can solve what? Do they make problems or they solve problems? Excellent, Ya Talal. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Yes, 
they solve problem. So again, yeah, Ismail, technology can do two a very important thing. What and what? Technology hmm? and environment. They meet your needs and they solve solve problem. Excellent. So yes, technology meets your need and solve your problem. Technology is what engineers make to meet our needs and to solve problems. Click play to find out more. Your need can be for playing. You need to play. So engineers can make toys for you, can make machines that you can play with. Like when you go to the play uh, store, you find toys and when you go to, um, uh, Funland, you will find lots of machines you can play with, so it can meet your In needs. In this video, you can see the technology of the Ferris wheel at an amusement park. Controls for rides like these generally have electronics in them to help keep the Ferris wheel working safely. So, these machines, they can work safely because of who? Aya Amir, who made them? Okay, engineers. Engineers, well done. So engineers made these machines to meet your need. What is your need from these machines? Technology. What do you need from this machine? Why would you go need to, to this? play? Excellent, you need to play. And they will allow you to play safely. See, so engineers, they really work hard to meet your need and solve problems and make you feel safe and having fun too. Technology is all around us. Computers are a kind of technology. Every day, the average person may depend on hundreds of computers. Traffic signals, hospitals, schools, and even many cars use computers. Here we see computers being used in a television station. So, computers are really important. Who made them? Who made computers? Hi, Abdurrahman, are you here? Abdurrahman? Who made computers, Ya Abdurrahman? Who made computers, Ya Abdurrahman? Engineers. Excellent, excellent. And is computers are really important or not? Do we use it every day, everywhere or not? Yes. Of course we use it. Give me one example. How do you use a computer? We use computer because we do math and science. Excellent. So we need to study. Exactly. You use computer to study. Okay, tell me about other places that they use computers. Let me see Salem. I saw Salem. Please open your camera. Salem. Oh, and you do not have a mic. Okay, Hattan. Hattan. Yes, ma'am. I want you to tell me about places that they use computers. Engineer places. A lab lab. Okay. Where else? I don't know. Really? When you are sick, where do you go? To the hospital. Okay. Do, do they use computers over there? Yeah. If you are making tests, where they are going to put your information? And, uh, and, uh, 
and a, and a computer. Exactly. So they can use computers to say to save your information, your result. They will may even have X-rays and how they can see their X-rays pictures. They will go through computers. So they definitely needs computers. Who else? Thank you very much, Hatan. You can close your mic. Who can tell me where else you can find computers? Engineers worked really hard to follow the design st uh, steps so they can make for you a very good computers so they can help you doing your work. It is technology oh, is all around us. Computers are a kind of technology. Every day, the average person may depend on hundreds of computers. Traffic signals, hospitals, schools, and even many cars use computers. Here we see computers being used in a television station. Now tell me, Asif, what other places need to use computers? Um, like scientists. Very good. Scientists needs computers. Who else? What about cars? Cars also. Yes, do you have a computer inside your car that turn off, uh, turn on the music, the radio? Sometimes it has a an navigation. A computer, but a thing like an iPad. Very good, yes, yes, but it uses the same system. Computer science it, it made this stuff. Okay, what about lightning in the streets? You need traffic light. How does traffic light work? Do you imagine our streets without a traffic light? Without green light, red light? How will cars go and, 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 uh, and move? How will be how it will be organized without traffic lights? So they need computers to work that. So definitely, guys, engineers, they make technology for us to meet our needs and to solve problems. Because once they had their uh, traffic light, what happened? They organized the movement of cars and uh, they uh, avoid a lot of accidents because of lightning. Well done, everyone. Technology helps us and improves our lives. We use technology every day. Click the pictures to learn about examples of ways technology helps us each day. So, this is one way how technology helping us, Ya Abdurrahman. What do you see in the picture? A bus. A bus. This is a school bus. Okay, Abdurrahman, tell me, what does it do, a school bus? How does it help you? To bring the children to the bus and go to the school and go to the home. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well done, Ya Abdurrahman. Excellent, Ya Abdurrahman. So this is a school bus will definitely help people or children to go to school and come back home again. So yes, technology help us a lot. Engineers design school buses to help us get to school each day. A school bus contains many forms of technology. The engine, electronics, and safety devices are all types of technology. So, all types of technology you can find inside a school bus, starting from the engine, the electronics, the wheels, and everything inside a school box is a technology, not only electrons. Let's take a look at the second picture. What do you see? Yeah. Talal, what do you see, Talal Marwan? Traffic light. Excellent, a traffic light. And how a traffic light is very useful? Uh, because it helps people uh, to see if, uh, like, 
they go fast or slow. Excellent, excellent to control the traffic. Well done, well done. Let's listen to it. As school buses travel, they stop at traffic lights. Traffic lights are designed to control traffic and prevent crashes. Well done, well done. What do you see in this picture, Ya Ahmed? Look at this picture. There is a very important technology. Hmm. There is a bus and there is an electronic. Okay, not only a bus. What is upon the bus? Above? Up, up, up the bus, upon the bus. What can you see? Bridge. Excellent, there is a bridge. A bridge is a technology. Do you know why, Ahmed? How does it help uh, people? Cross the road. Excellent, it helps people to across the street so they do not have to interrupt with the cars or make an accident or anything. Thank you very much, Ya Ahmed. Now let's, let's listen to the picture. Engineers also design roads and bridges. These help the bus travel quickly and smoothly. Well done. What about this windshields on the bus or not only on the bus, on cars? Windshields. Do you think windshields are technology or not? Who can tell me? Windshield. Hi, Asma'i. Ismail, can you hear me, Ismail? Yes. Okay. Wind shield. Why wind shield are very uh, important and are they technology or not? Sorry, the wind shield wipers. Okay. They are. Mm -hmm. They are. Uh, Yes, they are important. Why they are important? Because it's a technology. Excellent. Okay, how do they help people? You see in the when it comes the moon. Excellent. So it helps people to wipe the windshield. So if it's rainy, they can see clear. Even if it's dusty, they can clean their windshield so they can see the road clearly. Well done. Thank you, Ismail. On the bus, things like the windshield wipers, turning signals, and headlights are designed to keep the bus and its passengers safe. So not only about the windshield uh, wipers, we also we have lights in our cars or in the bus. Why do we have lights? To keep us safe so we can see better the road or it can tell other people on the road where you are going so uh, to avoid an accident. All these are technology are made by engineers. They followed a design system, sorry, a design process just to meet your need and to keep you safe. Salim, finally, you have a microphone. Salim, how are you? Yes. Take a I'm look good. at this picture. Yes. What do you seat see? Belts. Excellent seat belts. Seat belts are technology. Why? Because it keeps you safe when the car, when the bus stops. Excellent, Ya Salim. Bravo, bravo, bravo. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. The seats on the school bus are designed to be comfortable and keep the passengers safe. Well done, well done, well done. So this is about technologies that you can see around us. These all are technology will help us, will keep us safe, and definitely they meet our needs. Technology has improved learning. Which technologies help make the classroom a better place? Click all the correct answers. Hmm. Who can give me an answer? Which technologies help to make the classroom a better place? 
Look at the pictures and choose one of the pictures. An interactive whiteboard or a disk of a future or computers or a calculator. Which one of them will make our classroom even better? Who can tell me? Come on. We have only three minutes before your uh, break. Let's finish this one so you can leave. Tell me a safe. Choose a picture that is help helping a classroom. Mm. Which one good. will make the classroom um, better? The first, okay, the first the, one. Can you read the first one? The interactive whiteboard. Good answer. Interactive whiteboards are a technology that can help us learn together in the classroom. Excellent. What else, ya? Abdul Ila Haddad. Choose a picture that will make our classroom better. Um, the first one. This one? Yeah. Nicely done. Desks in all shapes and sizes are examples of technology that help us learn. What about you, Abdul Ilah Al Badi? What do you think? Yes, Miss. Which picture can make our classroom better? Yes. Choose a picture that. Second can... one. Second one. Okay. Way to go! Computers are a type of technology that can help us learn, practice skills, and share information. Excellent, excellent. And also, I think calculators are very good to make a classroom Great better. job! A calculator is a type of technology that helps us do math in the classroom. Great job! They are all correct! Technology is what engineers make to meet our needs and to solve problems. Engineers designed most of the items in your classroom to help you learn. Okay, not only our classroom, if you look around you, uh, around you, look at the room that you are sitting in, the living room, the, um, the bedroom, everything around you is made of technology and engineers made them just to meet your needs and solve your problems. Think about them and definitely we are going to talk about it tomorrow. All right, boys, thank you for watching and participating. That was everything for today. Enjoy the rest of it. See you.